Africa. We start with a look at what lies ahead for the global economy. China's foreign exchange director, Huang Guabo, says the U.S. may be a bright spot for the world next year. Mr. Huang claims credit expansion and developments in alternative energy will make America the major part promoting global economic growth in the future. Mr. Huang was less optimistic about Japan and Europe. Weak growth, the economic slowdown and debt reduction are clouding their financial outlook. But the United States may not be a bright spot for the global economy if President Obama and U.S. lawmakers remain gridlocked over tax cuts and spending. We've just got a week away from the so-called fiscal cliff, more than $600 billion in tax hikes and spending cuts set to take effect on January 1st. Now, as both sides attempt to avoid another recession, Jessica Stone profiles a Washington-area family preparing for the worst. Blessed are you, Lord of all creation, in darkness and in the light. Blessed are you in this food and in our sharing. Dinner time for the Roller family brings everyone together. But in just a few months, 18-year-old Matthew Roller will leave for college. Right now, it's just getting us both to wrap our heads around what it's going to be like to um, balance the, the family budget and then also tack on the expense of college. We are the typical middle-class family who you have two working parents and you got to juggle things. I definitely want to study, study abroad though, so got to find which school has the best study abroad program. The Rollers know they can't afford to pay for all of Matthew's education. He'll have to take out loans. The tightening U.S. economy has already forced them to cut back on travel and technology purchases. I don't really think there is another place where we can trim the fat, if you will. But without a deal between the U.S. Congress and the president, the rollers will have to pay an estimated $2,000 or more in new income taxes. Nobody wants to see the taxes raised on 25 million working families. Other tax credits for college students and social programs will also expire, adding thousands more in new taxes. U.S. President Barack Obama visited a middle-class family in Virginia in early December to push Congress to prevent middle-class income tax hikes. You know, for, for them to be burdened unnecessarily because Democrats and Republicans aren't coming together to solve this problem uh, gives you a sense of the costs uh, involved in very personal terms. Back at the Rollers' home, looking at Matthew's college letters brings up a mixture of pride and frustration. We haven't overextended ourselves with credit card debt and stuff like that. And even with that, we're still looking at cutting back and making sacrifices. So this new tax structure is going to hurt. There's a lot you're going to have to sacrifice. I mean, you know, we like, we enjoy going out to dinner as a family. You're, you're probably going to have to really cut back on that a lot. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours now and forever. Amen.